Hey everybody, Sheila Cummins here. I think it's time that we have a little talk about money. I've been listening to you this week, and I think there's one piece about the money game that we need to get clear, you and I. We need to get clear that money is not abstract. It's not something that happens. You don't just make some money, you make a certain amount of money. You don't just spend some money, you spend a specific amount of money. It's not abstract, it's concrete. It's something that is specific. When you don't know the specific numbers in your business, it's dangerous. And I know that it's dangerous because I've walked down that very slippery slope where I thought that I was making lots of money, so I felt very comfortable spending it, but I didn't actually take the time to track the exact numbers and I got myself into a real pickle. And some of you are in a real pickle because you don't know what your numbers are. I get it. Numbers might not be your thing. It might not be fun. It not, might not be sexy or enjoyable or the, the piece of your business that you like the most. But if you don't know your numbers, then the health of your business is in jeopardy. So I'm going to challenge you this week. It's quite simple. I want you to list the revenue that you've had in your business for the last six months. That's it. Just write how much cash came into your bank account as a result of the business activities that you did and track that in one column. In the next column, I want you to track exactly how much money you spent. It's in your best interest to itemize and categorize it because of course you're going to need that for your bookkeeping anyway. But if you can just even track how much money you spent through your business and on your business, and then you calculated the two, then you can see whether you've made money. That's all. We can make this as fancy as you want and as complicated as you want, but that, that is the simplest way to know whether you're running a profit. We want that number to be positive, my friends, and we want it to be consistently positive and growing even more positive each and every day. Money is not abstract, gang. It's concrete. So let's get two basic numbers written down for the last six months. Number one, how much cash came in your door as a result of your business activity? Number two, how much money did you spend on your business? And what is the difference between the two numbers? That's all. Anyway, that's what's on my mind this week, and I'll see you next week.